We're gonna make a marinara sauce today, a homemade marinara sauce. Uh, and when we're done, we're gonna put it over some shrimp and some pasta. Uh, hopefully it'll turn out good. It probably is gonna take us about two to two and a half hours to make the whole thing. Um, so we'll get started in a second. Okay, so we got two carrots, two stalks of uh, celery, one medium sized, medium to large onion. Uh, we have a number of uh, cloves of garlic, and I just, I love garlic, so I use quite a bit. How much you use is up to you. Uh, I told you when I do these things, I don't really figure out exactly what We got granulated garlic, onion, salt, and pepper. Um, and then we also got fresh basil, fresh oregano, basil and oregano. All right. Okay, so I got the vegetables chopped up. I got some oil on. This is olive oil. It's about three tablespoons. Um, it's smoking. So what we're gonna do? Get the onions, garlic, carrot, and celery in there, and then saute it. I'm going to throw some pepper in there with it. This is not the pepper from the, the bowl I showed you earlier. That's going to go in the actual pot with the, with the sauce. But I'm just going to pepper this up a little bit. And that's all I'm going to do in terms of going seasoning on it. And we're going to saute this until it's... Uh, The onions start to get translucent. The garlic will start to get a little translucent. A little bit soft. Same thing with the carrots and the celery. And then when we finish this, um, we're going to drain it. Get that olive oil or the oil out of it. So we're sauteing it in. Uh, then we'll move on to the next step and I'll get right back to you at that point. Alright, so this should take uh, maybe another five or seven minutes. I'll have it here, maybe just five minutes more or so. So it doesn't take very long. Okay, I got the vegetables finished. Um, now I have an eight quart pot on the stove. And what I'm gonna do is, I have two cans of crushed tomatoes. These are 28 ounce cans. Let me put two of those in there. Actually that heat's not supposed to be on yet. Then turn that off from when I uh, finish doing the vegetables. So I'm gonna add two of those. One, two, and all right. I got a can of tomato sauce. This is one regular size can, 16 ounce. Add that one 16 ounce can of diced tomatoes. You gotta add that, or you could dice your own fresh ones up too. And sometimes I'll do that, I just didn't feel like dicing tomatoes today. And then I got tomato paste, and you're just gonna put a couple of teaspoons of that in there. The seasonings I showed you earlier, chopped basil, chopped oregano, get that all in the pot, last thing, we got our chopped vegetables that we sauteed, those are going to go in. Give them a good stir, get everything mixed in really good. You really want to get everything blended well. This is going to be kind of uh, kind of chunky, which is how I like it. Uh, if you don't like it chunky, um, then just add a little bit more tomato sauce, and it'll smooth it out a little bit. So once they're kind of chunky, I mean you can you know, 
Well, actually, it's not going to do any good for me to show you now because the consistency of it is going to change after simmers, but I'll show you that. All right. So that's mixed up pretty well. We're going to cover it. And we're going to let that simmer for, I like to let it simmer for about two hours. Right. Got that on. We're going to get to the shrimp in a minute. When I'm ready to do that, I'll get back to you. Okay, we're ready to do the shrimp. Uh, we got a good smoke on the oil. It's a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. I'm using the same pan I use for the vegetables so you still have some of that flavor from the vegetables. And add some more garlic. We're going to add our seasoning. This is uh, one and a half tablespoons of Old Bay seafood seasoning, a half tablespoon of paprika, and about two teaspoons of pepper. See if I can get you a little bit better of an angle of what they look like while they're sauteing. Alright, with the light, I'm not sure how. Yeah, that's a little bit better. You get a look at what they look like, how they're coming. Alright, this will take a few minutes. When we're done with this, um, we'll basically be ready. And then. I'll show you a plate when we put it together at the end. Alright, last thing I forgot to uh, mention, the, the sauce came out really good. You'll see the whole thing when we put it all together. One thing I forgot to mention, uh, in the event that you do what I did tonight, which was put too much basil in your uh, in your sauce, and that's what I did. I used about, I, I like to use a lot of the fresh herbs, so I used probably four tablespoons of maybe even a little bit more than that of oregano, and maybe just a little bit less of basil. Oregano you, you're going to be good with. The basil can get pungent um, and can get bitter if you use too much of it, and I did. But it's an easy fix to it. After about an hour, hour, 15 minutes of simmering, and I usually let this simmer for about two hours, maybe a little bit more. After hour, hour, 15 minutes, I tasted it. I tasted it. It was pungent. And I just added four teaspoons of sugar, uh, and it offsets that, uh, that little bit of bitterness that you get from having too much basil, and it comes out perfect. So if you put too much basil in, I guess the, the, you know, the, I guess the point would be, Try to control what you put in from the beginning, but if you put too much in, offset it with a little sugar. Don't get carried away on the sugar either. Offset it with a little bit of sugar, and it make everything work out right.